Hey guys, it's Mike here, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing a question that I've received a number of times over the years. Once again about the Cell Saga, because I might as well change the channel name at this point to Cell Saga Media. How's it going? In which timeline? I don't know, usually the main one. But either way, the question comes down to Cell the main villain of that arc, particularly during the Cell Games, which isn't a very narcissistic name to name a tournament after all. But then again, he is a narcissist, right? Uh, so either way, the question of what if all the Z fighters just jumped Cell at the same time? Could they have beaten him that way? I discussed in a video you guys can see in the top right corner why Goku couldn't defeat Cell, why he saw the main strategy of winning as Gohan. But then again, Goku and Gohan would both be two of the many people who would just say, forget this, let's all just jump on him and dogpile and beat him, beat him down, if that was their game plan. If they said, you know what, who cares about the warrior's code, let's beat him into the ground. Well, I'm going to explain in depth why that would not work at all, or maybe it would, but you'll see. Either way, if you like this content, subscribe, enable notifications, Let's get straight into it. Make sure to let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section as I go through the video and hopefully my mouse will cooperate with me along the way. But let's start with, well, the first time this was actually said because in the manga itself, they do in fact have a line that you could see right here where uh, somebody suggests this. Of course, the person who always suggests the most intelligent course of action to do at these points in time, except for when he started being an idiot and allowed uh, Vegeta to just fight on his own when he could stop Cell then there. But either way, that would come down to Trunks. Because during Goku's fight against Cell, it became apparent that he would not be able to win. He wasn't as strong as Cell, uh, and he was outmatched. He was losing stamina fast, huffing and puffing. Cell was doing a little bit of that too after he regenerated, but he says right here, it looks like you've exhausted your strength. I think that you should eat a sensu, Son Goku. Hey, that rhymed. Uh, it'll make this fight a bit more fun for me. Hmm. So at that point, well, what happens? Cell goes on to say, or, you know, uh, Trunks, in this case, actually goes on to say, do what he says, we'll give Goku a sensu, then we'll all bum rush Cell to beat him. So Trunks was thinking like a lot of the commenters, we're going to just gang up and beat the crap out of this guy. You know, at this point in time, he's weakened, he's tired, you would think. And so we could all take him. Uh, this is when he keeps telling them to do that, and they refuse to. Because as Vegeta says, I guess you don't know about the pride of a Saiyan. Which a lot of people, they, they disregard along with the Warrior's Code, because they think that the Z Fighter should just fight all together and say, forget it, because, you know... They don't realize exactly why this Bushido code, let's say, is so important to these characters and the lore and, you know, the characters in the mythology and everything like that. They just say, you know, here uh, that they're all acting like idiots, but I'll get into that warrior's code too. Kakarot would rather die than win like that. Remember, he's no longer fighting for the earth anymore. And Trunks is like, but if he fights like this, he, you know, and then uh, Vegeta says he'll probably die out there. It pisses me off to say this, but I admire him. I trained as hard as I can, but I could never surpass Kakra. He's a genius. But Cell's not just one step ahead of him, but two. So the thing is, like, this is actually a little aside I'll make here, you know, because uh, I like to mention things along the way that are adjacent to the topic. Uh, basically, Vegeta, you know, he actually had that whole, you're better than me, Kakara, you're number one moment in the Cell Saga. A lot of people overlook it because it just happens less emphasized, but he already points out that he admires Goku, that he's superior to him, he's a genius that he can never surpass, and even then, Cell is multiple steps ahead of him. And so, as a result, another thing we need to look at here during the scene is what Cell says here. Is your pride getting in the way of you eating one? I've lost a lot of strength. If you come back at full power, you might have a slight chance of winning. Now, the thing is, Cell here, he actually is serious in the chance that you might have a slight chance. Because the thing is that many people who suggest that either at the start of the Cell games or right here, everyone should just bum rush Cell, like Trunks says, taking his plan to heart and giving, you know, funny enough, I'm showing Goku, who almost died from heart virus in this, in this uh, saga, well, I mentioned heart, but, and giving him a sensu and then all of them fighting together against a supposedly weaker Cell that they would stand a chance. However, one thing that we need to keep in mind is that, well, at this point, 
what uh, we have to go on. We know for a fact that Cell is way more powerful than he was when he was fighting against Goku. He was holding back significantly. We see that right here, in fact. Because after Gohan becomes a Super Saiyajin Siu, as they say in the Japanese, well, Cell says right here, then I'll show you how terrifying my true power really is. He proceeds to go full power, shocking everyone there in the vicinity, blasting them away almost, especially the humans who, you know, are way weaker, obviously, and even shocking Goku. He's shuddering right here at the power of Cell. At last, Cell's revealing his full power. It feels like he's making the plant shake. So it's clear that Cell held back significantly, and then he even points this out. What do you think? This is me when I'm serious. Gohan, you still look weak to me. Or he, you know, he's basically mocking him. Because, of course, Gohan still stomps him easily at this point. As we could see right here, he takes zero damage from Cell punching him. Boom. Starts to uh, wreck him uh, pretty easily. But, remember, this is Super Saiyan 2 Gohan here. All right, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan was actually already the strongest fighter here when he was a regular Super Saiyan uh, stronger than Goku. He probably wasn't as strong as Cell, as, you know, even when he was trying, he kicked Cell one time, but Cell didn't go full power until, like I said here, at this moment that we could see. But at the same time, Gohan not only went Super Saiyan 2, which doubled his power, but then he unlocked his hidden power inside of him. As I broke down in another video, you guys can see in the top right corner about how uh, strong Gohan was before um, you know, uh, between the Cell Saga and the Boo Saga, like how much power he lost and everything like that. So Gohan became way stronger than that. He became probably three, four times stronger, who knows, maybe even more. Uh, and as a result, that's a huge difference in power, more so than probably everyone who was there combined at the time. Even if you were to take uh, Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, Piccolo, everyone, maybe you could say that they would be stronger or equivalent to Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan, if you want to call them that, at this point in time. But again, another thing that we have to keep in mind here is that Gohan is one single person, one durability, one speed, one strength, one key output. He isn't a bunch of powers broken up among a number of weaker fighters, all of which Cell, at his full power, could one-shot. So when he goes full power, could one shot probably Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, Trunks, and 16, obviously, everyone else like that. So that's a thing to keep in mind, that despite the fact that all of them together theoretically might have been able to put up a way better fight than, you know, Goku did on his own, for example, or something like that, all of them together still were not capable of defeating Cell in terms of power because Cell would be able to outspeed them, he'd be able to hit them and take them apart one at a time. So you might try and be like, oh, well, they could just gang up and punch him all from different directions, but that's not really how power and speed and senses and everything work in Dragon Ball. You need to be able to uh, at least keep track of your opponent in order to make a difference. It'd be like if everyone, let me go full screen for this to kind of give you a visual demonstration, shall we say. Definitely don't want to include that. Okay, so uh, <laughs> what would happen is like everyone's going to fight Cell, but they'd be almost like frozen to him at his full power and speed. They'd be like Vegeta would go to punch him and Cell would be like, okay. And then he'd move out of the way, one shot Vegeta. Trunks coming from the opposite direction behind him. Cell turns around, psh, hits him, one shot. You know, Goku uh, with Cell as full power, psh, one shot. Psh, Gohan, one shot, uh, 16 finger flick, you know, like it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't be enough. It would, they would all be broken up individually weaker if they had shared their power together into one being, as I mentioned in the video, Goku's strongest technique he never uses, like he did against Broly, for example. And if it works that way in universe, then maybe it would work. But in this case, it wouldn't even weakened cell after the sensu bean and everything, or um, after, you know, he got the top half of his body blasted off, after Goku takes another sensu bean, all he would have to do is rev himself up to full power, as we could see right here, 
Uh, and he would still be able to output enough energy and speed and everything like that where he tries as hard as he could. Uh, and then in turn, he would just defeat everyone, destroy them if they all attacked him at once. The thing is, though, that Cell wouldn't actually need to do that because he has a technique that would allow a bunch of characters to fight for him, which would be, of course, the creation, if you even want to call this a technique, of the Cell Juniors. So as we could see right here, the Cell Juniors, well, they could just shoot. At, uh, he could just shoot a bunch of them out. Sure, it takes some time, but you know, it's Dragon Ball Z, so everyone would be like, "What is he doing?" They'd all be shocked for a period of time. Uh, so the thing is, he would shoot out a bunch of them, just like he did right here, and then they would just be able to go on and fight all the Z fighters. The only one who would stand a chance of defeating them, like we see with Gohan later, is Goku, if he actually got to take a Sensu Bean. The thing is too that. You know, if Goku actually went to use a Sensu Bean, there's a chance that Cell would stop him. Like, we always assume that he wouldn't, but here's the thing. Like, we see Cell do this. We see him rush up and grab the Sensu Beans from Krillin right when he's about to give Goku a Sensu Bean when he's going to jump in after Piccolo's assessment. Oh, you don't understand your son, everything like that. And what does he do? Well, he takes it and makes it where they can't use that against him. And so that's when he decides to do this. So there's a chance Goku would have not even been able to take the Sensu. The second that Cell saw he was actually going to do this, he was like, you know what, maybe this would be a threat to me. Let's stop him. And then he could do this just like he did before. Or again, he could knock them all out or he could push them back with an attack. Uh, he can go full power and knock them back with his uh, key and then use the Cell Jr.'s technique. Maybe they'd be even stronger because Gohan or because Cell would be even stronger at that point. So Cell wouldn't even need to fight all of them. The only ones he'd probably have to fight at that point are Goku and Gohan if Goku could get away from all the Cell Juniors, but then again, they could gang up on him. So, you know, it's like they would have a better chance if Goku took a Sensu uh, because he wouldn't be tired like he is here when he's getting beaten up by the Cell Juniors alongside the other weaker fighters, but another reason why they'd be able to stop him. Now, with that being said, another thing is to, let's say that Cell were to, you know, kill one of the Z fighters. Well, we could see a 16 situation happen here, where 16, when he is when he dies, he gives Gohan the motivation to not uh, hold back anymore, to go all out, to realize that Cell is beyond words. And even before this happened, we see that Gohan is revving up a little bit too, with the Cell Juniors being down his family and friends. And so, 16's the one who truly allows him to take it all out, to bring it all out to fight. So there is a chance that maybe they would help exacerbate the situation, and Gohan could go Super Saiyan 2 faster. But again, in any situation where Cell is ultimately feeling threatened and realizes that he could lose, he'd probably do the exact same thing he did right here. He would try and destroy the planet. You know, at first, he used the Kamehameha, Gohan stopped it. You know, they wouldn't have been able to stop it probably if Gohan wasn't a Super Saiyan 2. Maybe if they all fired a Kamehameha at the same time, but who knows? The fact is that Gohan here uh, couldn't stop Cell when he went to blow himself up, and Goku had to sacrifice himself uh, in order for this to happen, which means that if this exact same situation occurs like he did in the Cell games, well, naturally, Cell would come back. The only time it really changed anything when the characters teamed up was when Vegeta attacked uh, Cell when he was distracted. In the anime, everyone does, and it doesn't do anything, but Vegeta's one attack does, knocking him off balance or distracting him, and then Gohan finishes him. But again, that's Super Saiyan 2 Gohan when Cell is distracted. So it's not like the, the team of everyone actually beat him. Instead, it was like Gohan's true power within him defeated Cell when he wasn't paying attention. And thus, as a result, the most they could really, you could think, offer in that case is to do that. So I think in terms of overall, in terms of the character's powers, if they really ganged up against Cell, I don't think it would make a difference. I don't think it would really change anything that much when it comes to the outcome. I don't think that they'd be able to kill him the way that, you know, uh, a lot of people think. Sure, maybe overall their powers combined were stronger than Cell's, but unless they're focused into a single being, a single point, like Gohan, for example, or, you know, Goku, let's say, uh, then it wouldn't be enough because Cell could just break down all the weaker fighters individually and make it irrelevant. And that's why ultimately I think that ganging up 
wouldn't change anything. It wouldn't really improve things in the outcome for the Z fighters. And, you know, if anything, it would basically just lead to a slightly alternate variation of what we already saw with Cell maybe being put into a situation where he decides to just not hold back anymore and kills everyone or blows himself up or, you know, a variety of different things that would happen slightly different but lead to the same basic outcome in the end. But what do you guys think? Let me know your own thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think that this would actually change anything? Or maybe, well, maybe it would do nothing at all. It would, uh, if anything, make things much worse. And I even talked about in the top right corner, what if Cell won? Check that out. But make sure to stick around because there's a lot more to come in the future. Yeah, and you better subscribe.